Hi everyone and welcome back to the Nay and Nails channel. I am Steffi Fernandez and in today's video we'll be doing a gorgeous summery design that's good enough to eat. Oh yes, we're doing a little bit of an ice cream design for you guys. Let's get cracking. Okay, so I've got my palette here with a little bit of <laughs> gold, which I'm going to use for the next design. Let me take that off. <laughs> okay, back <laughs> to where we were. I've got my palette here. I'm going to show the colors in a bit, but let's start with the first layer. I'm going to go in with a gorgeous nude called Nude and Naughty, a bit like Lucy. <laughs> I'm going to apply a nice thin layer all over the nail. Um, I'm going to be doing two actually, cure that and then we'll crack on with our design. Right, I've got both layers cured over here and I'm now going to go into prepping my palette because I haven't done it earlier plus I kind of want to show you how gorgeous these colors are, right? So we're going to start with eggnog, which is a stunning little uh, color that's pale yellow. And I'm going to have a little blob on my palette just over here. It's got a little bit of an olivey undertone as well. So it's super, super, super gorgeous. I've got, oh, like a glove, uh, which is a stunning nude. And I'm going to have a little bit of that on my palette too. Um, I've got a gorgeous blue which is called Spa Day, which I think is like one of our best sellers. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous summery color. And we've got a stunning orange called Squeeze Me. Um, absolutely gorge. I'm going to put that on my palette. Now, I've got a gorgeous pink. It's called Barbie's Dream, actually. Uh, it does really give me Barbie vibes all over. Oh, it's Look such at a that. nice pale what pink, isn't it? What a gorgeous, gorgeous pink. I'm going to put that on my palette. I wish the palette looked a bit more nicer. I should have, hmm. you know, maybe, but never mind. And I've got the last color here, which is... Uh, which is called Bitch, uh, a bit like me. <laughs> and I'm going to dab that color on the palette and we're going to use that as well uh, for our design today. So I'm going to start off by uh, picking up some of that nude color we had earlier on, which is called Like a Glove, and just uh, pick up some on my 0003 brush and just uh, create a few lines diagonally on the nail. And uh, don't worry about the thickness of the lines or how perfect they are. Um, ideally, what you want to watch out for is just the distance between the lines. So I'm just doing some lines. I'm just doing lines diagonally. Right, so I've got the lines uh, going diagonally. I'm now going to go in and start the lines from the other side with minimal product on, guys, really, because you don't want to have too much of a mess on this section. It's just a bit of a background for our design. Right, so I've got the background ready and I'm going to pop this into the lamp for about 30 seconds. We're now going to go in to Barbie's Dream and just pick up a load of that color and just start 
painting a blob on the top with a little bit of drop so i'm just putting a lot of colors to start a lot of color to start with but then i'm going to obviously spread it out equally uh, on the nail so i'm going to paint a bit of a drop over here and uh, maybe i'll push it upwards a little bit of a drop here do we want another drop lucy go on go on go for it i'm going for it <laughs> so another drop here yeah and now i'm gonna fill in the top bit the top section of the nail And pop this back into the lamp and cure it for about 15 to 20 seconds. So I've got this layer cured. I'm going to go in to uh, uh, the color bitch <laughs> and start. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being childish, guys. All right. But uh, this is the name of the color. Uh, but yeah. I'm going to go in with that gorgeous thing that we have and I'm going to paint a little bit of like shadow under some of those drops. It's not really a shadow, it's just a bit of an outline if it makes sense, but it gives it a bit of a definition and just adds a bit more detail for the whole look if it makes sense. those and do I want a little bit more somewhere let's see actually let me make it a bit thicker yeah so I've got those uh, lines on here and now what I'm gonna do is let me just get a lint free wipe with a little bit of alcohol on it and I'm gonna go in to any of those random colors that we've put on the palette earlier and I'm going to create a little bit of like uh, sprinkles so I'm just going to add them randomly on the nail that gives me vibes of you know the um, my favorite okay if anyone knows me Anyone who knows me actually will know that I am a sucker for um, slushy, and it has to be the uh, the one that you get in the cinema. Tango ice, tango glass. ice glass, oh, the that. blue and the pink, and I have it. Well, I have it nearly every day, but I do have the sugar-free version, guys. Okay, I won't lie. I do buy the sugar-free version because you know too much sugar is not good for you, but. I do have it daily, I really do, uh, you know, that's the reason um, I can be broke at times, you know. <laughs> I'm going to go in with that gorgeous eggnog and just add a few more. Doesn't it look gorgeous? So yummy, like it I looks just like you really, could just eat it. I could really eat it right now. Especially with the heat in the studio today, guys. With the lights on, I feel like I'm in a... Uh, you feel like an ice cream. I feel like an ice cream-y. Yeah. I feel like I'm in a sunbed. <laughs> you know, with all the lights, <laughs> oh, I'm just yeah, yeah. absolutely... <sighs> hot. <laughs> Let's do another one because I feel like there's one missing here. I don't know why, but I feel like it is. And I'm going to pop this into the lamp for the full length of time uh, to give it a good cure. Now, what I like to do with designs in general and all sorts of art, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I like to always encapsulate my art with a clear top coat 
and then go in with the matte top coat. So I'm using our Urban Graffiti top coat and just adding a nice thin layer to encapsulate all of this goodness, you know. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go in with a matte top coat once this is fully cured. So I've got this layer cured over here and I'm going to go in with our ultra matte top coat and apply a nice thin layer all over the nail just to uh, have that different finish I'm looking for. I think it looks more cartoony and cool, you know, with the uh, matte top coat. It just gives it such a gorgeous finish. And this design is so easy to create, honestly, guys. Um, you know, I'd love, I'd love to see you doing it on so many nails and just tagging me and showing me. Um, let's put this in. And this is our gorgeous ice cream ready. What do you think? Looks like it's ready to eat. Mm, absolutely gorgeous. And I love, love the matte top coat on this one. It looks so nice and delicious and it's super summery and you know you've got really nice vibrant colors and it's so so easy to do uh, you can do a multiple fingers and you can change the color so the pink can be like a very light rich teal color or a minty color you know although mint and chocolate ice cream no no it's a no-go here that is a no-go guys i'm sorry <laughs> this is illegal all right <laughs> So, you know, it, it tastes like a, a frozen toothpaste. Who wants to eat a frozen toothpaste? I'm sorry. Okay, don't hate me for this guy because I know there's plenty out there that we like a minty chocolate ice cream. But let, let's stick with strawberry, okay? <laughs> so I hope, I hope you enjoyed this design. Gorgeous, super simple, easy to achieve. Um, and yeah, let me know in the comments below um, how much you love it and how much you don't like mint chocolate. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, as usual guys don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that notification bell and i'll see you all real soon take care guys those nails are good for making wind <laughs> you know i know people that would suck my fingers if i had this design on mm, i think we all know who <laughs> Why do I fucking keep burping on camera? I just don't get it. Like, Blooper right there. It's just not okay. Nude and naughty a bit like Lucy. <laughs>